Hello everyone, this is Crystal with We Are Magic and this is another podcast episode. Today, we'll be discussing releasing negative emotions slash build up. Stay tuned. Hey booze, this is Crystal with We Are Magic. And today we're going to discuss releasing negative emotions. I think the reason why a lot of us hold on to so much stress, sickness, and disease in our solar plexus is because we have been programmed to keep in emotions or to ignore or suppress any type of emotion, whether it's anger, sadness, frustration, fear, all the things. I think that's a lot of the reason why we are just not in a good headspace. So I have been going through it. The mercury shadow thing affected me greatly and mercury whooped my ass yesterday. (laughs) And it's not mercury's fault. It's just, it's an energy that pushes you to slow down, adjust, observe, readjust, observe some more, take notes, learn from your mistakes. And to see things differently. You know, you can go on Google, you can read books, you can listen to, you don't even have to follow my advice, but I always tell you to go within because your guides, your ancestors, your higher self, your soul, your spirit are all one, the most high, all connected to you. So they know what's best for your situation. Not everybody's tactics works for everybody, right? So you can listen to certain people and they just say, call in the light. And, you know, I did that for two years and here I am still bitter. So, you know, I believed it when I did it, but it wasn't shadow work. (laughs) It wasn't shadow work. I didn't do the self-therapy. So this is why shadow work is so important. I am always in it. I'm always ready for it. When the synchronicities and when signs, when spirit wants to show me something that I have to work on, I take it very, very seriously. So when Mercury shadow started affecting me, I started thinking about the past. Um, And I do my best to stay present, you know, to prepare for the future. I try my best to live in a moment, to appreciate, to have gratitude, all the things that keep you in a very high vibration. And I got hit. I got hit hard the last two weeks. Like, it was bad. And for one second, I almost ignored it. I almost went, up. Oh, that's old shit. I'm not worrying about that anymore. Spirit was like, no, no. Why do you feel this way? What's going on? You love this person. They hurt you. You love those people. They hurt you cry. So I allowed myself to get really angry and I cried. I cried so freaking hard. And that's the thing with shadow work after you cry and you release the emotion, well, you don't keep dredging on it, right? After you've released that energy, that negative energy that is affecting you in a negative way. Oh my God, you feel better. But if you don't do stuff like that, you stay in victim land and you keep paying rent there. And I'm not going to pay rent in victim land anymore. So what spirit told me was I have to really stay in tune, listen to my intuition. And when something negative is brought into my reality or into my thoughts or conscious to not think that I'm weak or I'm desperate or I'm failing or all the negative things you can think of, right? I'm afraid I'm this, I'm stupid. The stuff that we say to ourselves that we would never say to a loved one. When those thoughts pop up, oh, grab them, grab them instantly. Don't ignore them because now we have to uproot that thought. We have to cleanse it. And I think it's really funny when I'm on here telling you my experience, telling you what I go through, telling you how I go through things that other spiritualists or teachers will come for me in my comments and say that (laughs) magic doesn't work. Now these are spiritualists, by the way. Um, I'm not saying magic. I'm 
yes, it says we are magic with a K because that deals with the ancestral, the ancient ways, the Gnostic ways, the alchemy. So it's hilarious to me when a, a new ager comes on my thing and comments how I am delusional and stuff, but they're channeling Archangel Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just, I just scroll. If I don't agree with you, scroll guys. Just so that you don't have to run your stupid mouth on everybody's platform. Troll. There we go. Cause you know, cussing is, you know, not allowed anymore. So yeah. See what I just did. I had a negative emotion come out and it was to trolls. I'm not going to kiss y'all. Goodbye. Okay. So yeah. Um, we have to release that. Shit. <laughs> we got to release it. We got to release the negative emotion. We got to release the negative emotions. We have to release that build up. Holding on to something is not fixing anything. You staying angry about a situation or something that happened to you in the past. And I know this for a fact, cause this is me. I'm talking to me too. This is what I've lived. This is how I am. What does that do? Besides keep you pissed off and in a lower vibration to where you're stressed and you're basically susceptible to sickness and disease and attacks and, you know, everything is cause and effect and ebb and flow. So if you're putting out negative energy, you will not get it right back at you. And then you're wondering why, oh my God, why is my life so shitty? Crystal, right? So when this negative emotion came up, oh my God, it's like I haven't done shadow work at all. So instantly I'm like, I'm weak. You know, I start for the negative talk. I, I st oh my God, like, well, I'm so stupid. Why He's moved on. They don't even check on me and my kids. They were, I, spirit was like, stop. Because I could feel myself just, be, I'm being hard on myself, right? And spirit was like, validate your feelings. That did happen. That is true. That is currently true. But it's not part of your reality anymore. Cry and release it. And I'm like, and I'm thinking, if I cry over this, it makes me look weak. Program. Who's watching? I was the only one in the house. I was the only one home. That's how bad this programming is. And we have to do this. We have to release these negative emotions so we can keep our space open for abundance and healing and prosperity and happiness and love and living. When we are negative and bitter, you know, that bitter bitch energy I used to talk about. That's not a vibe. That is not helpful to you. And it's not helpful to your reality, your universe, your loved ones. You're evil. You're miserable with your own world, your own inner world, because you have not dealt with you. This is how I do shadow work, guys. I'm telling you. Um, shadow work one-on-one -on -one is no longer on sale. Um, the next time I drop it to sell, it's... Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be packed with more stuff. So the price is going to go up. But anyway, so to those who did buy it at this stage and you get to keep it forever. Thank you because you got this forever. And every time I add to it, you get it too. So boom. All right. So crying is a way to release negative emotions, crying, crying, screaming, ranting. Do it when you're by yourself. Don't do it around other people. Don't project your negative energy onto your children, onto your husband, onto your friends. You can talk to your friends about things because if you have that type of relationship and you two are both, you know, open to each other and being little therapists to one another, so that's fine. But you screaming and ranting and having temper tantrums in front of your family, that's not good for anyone, especially the children. So... I know that for a fact. My sons are going through that right now. Like they're dealing with how they were raised and seeing, you know, their father figure punching holes in walls and screaming and ranting and having temper. Eh, it's just not a vibe, right? Not a vibe. So yeah, that's the type of stuff that will stick in your subconscious mind, especially as a small child. So but yes, crying, screaming, ranting, and then setting the attention because this is the goal. Set 
the intention that when you do this, you're releasing the negative emotion to alchemize your energy to make space for love, creativity, abundance, and health. You're making space for more positive things to come into your life. You want to attract positive things. You want to attract positive energy. Of course, we live on earth and nothing's going to be perfect. We get that. We're not silly. But don't make it harder is what I'm saying. You can, if you do it this way, you'll be able to handle things a lot better. Okay. Another thing you can do to release negative emotions um, and build up is dancing. Dancing. Just any type of activity. You can do dancing, exercising, all any type of physical movement. When you do that, sorry, I'm seeing if my squirrel was at my window. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw something out there. That was my squirrel. But um, when you exercise, do any type of physical activity, again, we're setting the intention. You're always in main character mode, okay? always. You're not just some basic human. You are a spirit having a human experience. So long as you're connected to that and you stay in tune with that, anytime you do anything, it's intentional. Anything. And it's for your highest good. Um, Art. Painting. Drawing. Writing music. If you're an artist, if you're like the homies, Duck City Music, you know, they can get on the mic and they can just flow and say what's on their mind and just get it out. Right. And then it alchemizes and it becomes positive and it changes everything and so makes them feel better. Now, I said have a rant and scream. You can do that by journaling. So journaling your thoughts, writing it down, write down how you feel and be real. Write it down. Say, I feel like a failure. I feel like I'm not where I need to be. Da, 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 da. And then after you write that shit down and write until you can't write no more. And you're exhausted and you're just like, and you could just still feel it. And now you look at what you wrote. And then this is where you start writing the reality of the situation. This is how you feel. But what's the reality? Are you a failure? Like, oh yeah, Crystal. Well, then you need to do more inner work. All the negative things that you wrote down on that paper, this is where you become the alchemist of your life and you write down a different story. Like, I have a failed marriage, but I did my best and I am still full of love, compassion, and prosperity for someone else. Oh, this happened in my past, but it taught me to not make the same mistake. That's how you become an alchemist. You can't just stay trapped and engulfed in misery and sadness. I'm telling you, I had a breakthrough yesterday. I had a breakthrough. Like, I could just see it on my face. I feel better. I feel more lighter. I don't feel so heavy. Normally, planes fly over and I get mad and I stop recording and I'm just... I'm vibing. Like I feel so much better. Another thing you can do, of course, is meditating and praying. So speak to the universe. I don't know why the heater's coming on. It's like springtime. Anyway, meditating. Always meditate. This is where I feel also. Just turn off your mind for five minutes a day if you can do that. And then when you get used to that and become second nature, then you want to bump it up to 10 minutes. And then you want to bump it up to 15 you know, take baby steps, celebrate your small wins, right? Meditation is where you turn all the negative, positive, everything goes off. You're just, and you receive. And it's just, you're in the void, you're in the blackness, you're in the dark, safe, cradled in mother's womb, and you're there to receive and heal and reset. Meditation, praying is communication. I know spiritual people make fun of people pray, but you're literally praying to your ancestors. You're praying to the gods. You're praying to mother nature. You're praying. Bruh. It's communication, right? You're not begging. You're talking. You're telling like you're talking to your best friend. So speak to your guides. Speak to your highest self. Speak to the most high. Speak to creator. I'm like, I need help. <laughs> I... I'm obviously closed off to my intuition, so I need an activation, a code upbringing, a Windows update. I don't care what we got to do, but 
I'm not happy. I'm not emotionally fulfilled right now. I feel blocked. Communicate how you feel and then follow suit. And again, you're doing all this. As I'm saying this, keep setting the intention that as I do this, I am releasing negative energy from my space, right? You want it out of you. Quit holding this shit in. You got all these little negative energies. I saw my oldest son yesterday. He took a deep breath in. We were outside, you know, at the football field. He took a deep breath in. And then when he blew out, I saw a little black orb go poof. And then it disappeared. And I was like, oh, Kevin, you literally just released a negative ion, like a little negative energy thing. And he went, we out here. So that's how he is. So yeah, that's what you do. Oh, oh, that's an evil spirit. Shut up. Go back to church. I don't want no religion. Don't do that over here. Okay. Don't do that. Right. Not jumping on your bow saying stuff. Get it out of you. We're not here to judge. Those are, you're a Pharisee. If you're out here judging people constantly and you're miserable and you know good and well, your freaking life is not perfect. I don't care how much you pray to Jesus and say, well, Jesus saved me. I can do whatever the hell I want. Good luck with that. All right. Come on now. We know you buy your fruit and your fruit's pretty nasty. So, and that's not judging. That's a fact. If you won't come on here being negative and shitty, child, look at yourself. Take that nasty log out your eye, boo. All right. Another thing I love to do is mirror work. Like where my phone is right now, I have a mirror right there behind it, you know, cause I'm associated with Shiva and Kali and mirrors and, you know, karma and all the yummy stuff. So I do a lot of mirror work. I talk to myself as if I'm talking to my higher self. And sometimes my higher self talks back to me and it's crazy. Like it's, I can feel it. I can hear it. It's just, oh. you know how you do a channeled message or you're speaking, but it's not you. And it's like, you are third person listening. Like, what is this stuff coming out of my face right now? It's amazing. Or sometimes you say something and you don't remember us when your higher self just jumps in and takes over the conversation. And I love when my higher self does that. (laughs) Love it. So yeah, mirror work, looking in a mirror and telling yourself, you know, this is what I'm setting the intention for today. This is what I'm working on. This is what we're going to do. I love you. Oh my God. Like Mel Robbins said, high five the mirror, right? Not just that. Just look at the mirror and go, you are a bad bitch. Damn, you are a sexy mother. You are, you know, look at the drip. You know, it's like, what's what's, what's good? Oh, 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 oh. Hype yourself up, right? And say, you don't need no, you need to hype your bestie up. Yeah, hype your bestie up. That muff in the mirror. I'm cussing. Sorry, guys. I'm doing my best. Another fave and my friend from DMC, Duck City Music, CHJ, you know, he, he knows the vibes. He's spiritual. And I was telling him one day, I was like, you know, being very empathetic, he's the same way. You know, how do you deal being on social media, but you're a hermit? (laughs) And he was like, water. And he's right. Showering, you know, just. You know, he's washing the negativity away. He's, and my friend, um, the real shaman said the same thing to me. She's like, you know, when you're in a shower crystal, cause you, know, you have a lot of energy besides grounding. She was like, when you shower, even with like my hair, yeah, I cut my hair off. You know, you're washing the negativity off of you. And when we're in robot human mode, it's just, we're showering to cleanse our body and that's it. And, but you're constantly thinking of something negative. You're constantly thinking of something you have to do. And that's not the fucking vibe. So what you want to do is cleanse that off of you. You want to set the intention that you're in this beautiful water because water is life. Wash the energy off of you. Any stagnant energy that's hanging out, wash it off of you. Water is perfect for that. So yeah, these are just some of the tips. These are some of the little things that, you know, spirit gave me. Um, I will do more podcasts as more messages download. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I know (laughs) what Mercury is doing to me this time. So I can only imagine (laughs) Mercury normally, what Mercury retrograde normally does for me is expose a fake friend in my life, someone who is praying on my downfall both of them both ways 
preying on it and are not really good friends. So that's what Mercury does for me. Mercury exposes the fakes and the snakes. But this time, Mercury is like, I'm exposing all the negative crap you still have in you, Crystal. So I told you, I am not there. I have not <laughs> ascended so much that I am perfect. I am grounded into this reality, but I know there's so much more. And I am working through this just like everyone else is. And as I learn things, I will share them with you. And I love you. Remember what I said, set the intention that whatever you do, especially if it's physical or you're, like I said, washing yourself or anything like that, set the intention that it works. You are releasing the negative energy that no longer serves you. I love you. This is We Are Magic. We Are One. Have a good one.